Takes a woman charged with throwing a brick through a home and pepper spraying two children is telling her side of the story only to Channel 11's Amy Marcinkwitz. And Amy is live tonight. Amy, she told you she is the victim? That's right. Actually, David, she told me she was targeted because she's transgender. I was talking with her over the phone most of the day today, and just a few minutes ago, she texted me and said that she is publicly speaking in just a few hours, and we will be there. Only Channel 11 there is transgender community activist Dina Stanley turned herself in Friday morning. Ambridge police say she is the suspect in a pepper spray assault on this woman and her two kids, ages 15 and seven. Police say what started as a kid fight turned very violent when the adults got involved. My seven-year-old was screaming to the top of his lungs. He couldn't see, can't see, crying, crying. It took hours and hours for us to get it off of him. I talked to Dina Stanley over the phone numerous times. She's not ready to go on camera, but did detail her story to me and to a fundraising site. She started to help pay her legal and medical bills. She says, they were coming from all directions at me, yelling slurs. They said I was a man, a he, she. I was thrown to the ground and bricked in the head. I was fearful for my life. Ambridge police dispute that and most everything she put out on the internet, especially after learning she's raised almost $2,000 on her story. She did go to the victim's home, got out of the car and started a problem there. and. That is the story that we have from both the victims and independent witnesses. And again, I just learned that um, the suspect and her family and her lawyer will all be together tonight about 8 o'clock making a public statement. Again, Channel 11 will be there. Reporting live, Amy Marcinkowitz, Channel 11 News.